Hello everyone, Brian Charles from Red River, and today we're going to go over another utility inside of Microsoft 365, Microsoft Stream. Microsoft Stream is the default location in, in Microsoft 365 that all video gets recorded to. So if you're doing a recording inside of a Teams meeting, it gets uploaded into Microsoft Stream. So we're going to show how you can get some videos inside of Microsoft Teams without necessarily having to utilize a Teams meeting. You can get to Microsoft Stream utilizing the app launcher in your browser. Once you get here, it'll go through recent content that's in there. Any content that you've uploaded will show in my content. And this includes meetings that you hit the record button on inside of Teams. And then you can come over to create to upload different content. If you click on create, you can't upload a video that you've previously produced, but if you don't have one, you can record your screen directly from the browser without any third party applications. Choose the camera that you want, the microphone, and hit record. After you've done that, you can select the presentation, you can select the screen that you want to go ahead and show as well, or if you want to just show a direct application, you can choose it here. I'm going to select my entire screen one and hit share. All right, once you've done that, the recording has started. You can hide this box if you don't want to show it, but I can go around the browser, click around and do whatever I want. It's going to do a video recording, an audio recording, as well as whatever I'm presenting on my screen. When I've done, I can simply come back and hit next to stop the recording. I can review the recording, record it again if I want. And once I click upload to stream, name it, add in description I want, choose if I want everyone to be able to see it or not, and then go ahead and publish it. Once it's done, it'll be published and it's processing into the cloud. After it's done processing in the cloud, you can come back to that video you just recorded by going to My Content and Videos. The newest ones will be at the top. Clicking inside of it, you'll be able to take a look at various metrics, various metrics about the video. And if you're the one who's uploaded it, you'll be an admin of it. So you can click on the ellipses, download this video, and maybe put it through a different video processing application if you wanted to add a little bit more flair to it later. Being able to record your desktop Bring in video and audio directly from your browser without any software on your machine is extremely helpful. Just keep in mind that if you do it this way, there is going to be a 15 minute limit. Well, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you again next week.